So I've had a lot of people ask how to put together a spreadsheet like this where you've got some data in Excel and you want to filter that data by selecting a month from a drop down menu like this. And so I've finally gotten around to creating this tutorial where I will show you two different examples of how to do it and I will go through everything that you need to know step by step. Also, you can download the workbook from this video using the link that I left in the description. That said, let's go over our first example. Now the first thing that you want to get right is the setup. You want your source data stored somewhere in your workbook. You want a space where you can list out the 12 months. You want a cell for the month selection and another cell that will hold the month number. And finally, you want a space where your filtered results will be. Also, be sure that this space is large enough to hold all of the potential results that you might get back. And once you've got your setup ready to go, the first thing that you want to do is create your list of months. You can do this by typing in January and then use the fill handle to complete the list of months. Next, let's create the month dropdown list. Select the cell where you want the dropdown and then go to data, data validation. Under Allow, select List, and for the source, select your list of months. You can then click OK, and you have your drop-down list to select the month. Next, select the cell that will hold the month number and enter the following formula. Equals, Match function, select the cell with the month drop-down, then select the list of months, and finally, add a zero to force the match function to search for an exact match. You can then close parentheses and press enter. Awesome. Now all that's left is the filter function. Start by selecting the top left cell of your result space. And from here, enter the following formula. Equals filter function, then select all of the data. Now for the second argument, Add the month function, and then select the range of dates from your source data. We are adding the month function here to calculate the month number of each of the dates, and that will allow us to compare the month number of each date to the month number of the selected date. That said, go ahead and close parentheses, add an equals, and select the month number. Finally, close parentheses again and press enter. You now get back filtered results by selecting a month from the drop-down list. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and move on to our second example. The difference this time is that we will not be using a calculated month number like we did before. And so for this setup, all you need is a space for your months, your source data, a cell for your month drop-down list, and a space for your filtered results. And once you have everything set up, just repeat the same steps as before to get your month list. And then apply data validation just like before to get your month dropdown list. And once you're done with that, you can finish with the formula. And this is where things are different. Select the top left cell of your result space and then enter in equals filter function, select the source data, and for the second argument, enter the text function. Inside the text function, select the range of dates, add a comma, then a quotation mark, and four M's. Then add a closing quotation mark, close parentheses, and add an equals. Then select the cell with the chosen month, close parentheses, and press enter. This time, the text function takes each date and transforms it into the text version of whatever month that that date falls under. The filter function then compares those results to the chosen month, allowing you to filter the data by selecting a month from the dropdown. And those are your two examples of how to filter your data by month in Microsoft Excel. If you learned something new or enjoyed the video, I invite you to like and subscribe. That way you don't miss any content like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.